Hi, I'm Andy Nebreski. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be whipping up a braised tatog with tomatoes and chorizo. It's a pretty simple dish, kind of based on a, a traditional Portuguese dish. Uh, we have some sliced chorizo, we have some diced onion, some celery and fennel, a little garlic, some diced canned tomatoes, some white wine, and that's really all you need. All right, we're going to get started with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And first up is the fennel and celery. This is going to take the longest to cook, so we're going to start that first. Give that a little stir in the olive oil. And give that a head start, cook that for about three or four minutes before we add the onions. Next up, we get a little bit of diced onion. Give that a little stir. We're going to let that go for about another three minutes until the onions start to become translucent. Give it just a little splash of white wine to keep it from burning. Once these vegetables have cooked down and they start to soften, we're going to add in some diced up garlic. We don't want to burn that, so we're going to turn the temperature down. And we'll give that about another two to three minutes. Now that our garlic is cooked, we're going to add some diced canned tomatoes. These have been drained. We're going to add about a half a cup of white wine. And just a couple of red pepper flakes. You don't want to go crazy with these guys. They're pretty hot. And that's, that should be enough to do it. About a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And we're going to add just a little bit of kosher salt. Give that a good stir. Now we're going to cover the pot. Put this in on about medium low. And we're going to cook this for about 15-20 minutes until the tomatoes start to break down. All right, one of the other great reasons I love to talk is it freezes very well. I find a lot of fish kind of gets kind of fishy tasting after it's coming out of the freezer. To talk, it's if it's vacuum sealed, it'll last four or five, maybe six months in the freezer. Uh, so we're going to take this guy out of the package. The first thing we're going to do is dry it off with paper towels. A lot of moisture comes out of the fillets when it's been frozen. And we're going to check it for any bones. So I didn't fillet these. There is actually a row of uh, pin bones down the center of the fillet here. So I'm going to make sure we cut all of those out. We'll just take a little wedge out of the fillet like that. And that should get most of them. So now we have a nice bone-free fillet. I'll give these to the, this is doggy sushi right here. Sit, Woody. He loves sushi. And now we're going to take this to dog fillet and we're going to cut it down into two to three inch chunks. And we're going to want to hit these with a little bit of salt and pepper. Are you begging? No begging. Begging bad. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. This is looking like it should. I'm going to just mash up these tomatoes a little bit, help thicken the sauce a little bit. And we're ready to add the chorizo and the fish. Get a nice even layer. And this is going to add a lot of flavor. Layer to tug fillets on top of that. We'll give the fish just a light drizzle of olive oil. Sprinkle on a little fresh parsley. And last but not least, I'm going to put a little saffron on here. Uh, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Certainly don't need this, but it's a nice touch. It's going to add a real nice color to the top of the fish when it's done. I'm going to cover this, turn it down to low, and cook that for about another 12 to 15 minutes. All right, while the fish is cooking, we're going to get our bread toasted. I like a nice slice of crusty bread that you can use to kind of mop up all that sauce at the end. All right, so this has been cooking about 15 minutes now. The fish is starting to flake apart, which means it's done. So what we're going to do is remove just the fish to a separate plate. And plate the remaining ingredients into a bowl. And a little drizzle of any remaining sauce that's in the pot. 
These are the fronds from the fennel bulb. You just took those off and diced them up. Makes a nice little garnish, gives it a nice bright flavor. And last but not least, we're gonna serve this with a nice piece of toasted garlic bread. And there you have it. Nice, simple braised tatog with tomato and chorizo.